Hi, my name is Casey Amshauser, and I am a senior digital health specialist at the Digital Initiatives Group at iTech, which is part of the University of Washington. And I'm here today to tell you about some of the exciting new work that the Lab Squad has been doing, adding some new lab features to OpenMRS 3. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, new lab work. So here we are in O3. And the first step, of course, is to select a patient. Now that we've got uh, the patient chart app up, we'll go into the lab, add lab order uh, part of the basket. And here we're going to add a couple of different labs. Um, we'll do a complete blood count, which is a whole panel of labs. And then this bacteria, bacteria urea, um, which is just a single test. So we enter in the lab reference number for both of these. And this would normally be uh, the uh, number or, or label that's put onto the tubes as uh, those samples go to the lab to help the lab uh, know what, uh, what order they belong to. Uh, now we go into the order section. And so here you can see that we have both the complete blood count and the bacteria, bacteria urea test um, here. So uh, from the screen, uh, if we got the results back from the lab, um, we can enter it in. Uh, you'll notice that the status right now is blank. I'll sort of show you how to use that in a uh, different part of uh, this app. Uh, not this app, it's in a, a separate app. But um, if you had a lab information system, that status would be automatically updated. And of course, you'd be getting these results uh, streaming back into OpenMRS as well. Uh, here we are uh, entering in the results. Uh, this is that panel, so it's a, a set of different uh, results. You'll also see here um, that there is a label that shows you the normal range of the test. So for example, white blood cells between zero and 11 is considered a normal result. Anything above that would be elevated, anything. And now we're at the results viewer. So within the results viewer, now we can see the results that we have just entered. Uh, you can see that uh, they're both hematology and blood work. And you can see here um, that the platelets, the normal range goes up to 419 since that was 4, uh, 25, it was uh, listed as elevated. Same thing here for these red blood cells. All right, so now we've seen how this works uh, for the individual patients. Let's go ahead and take a look by uh, facility. So you can see there's a new laboratory uh, section here. Uh, there is a dashboard to show you uh, the all the tests which were ordered a work list, so tests that are in progress uh, need to be worked on by the lab. And finally, uh, completed results. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and we'll take the serum glucose. Uh, we'll say we are picking up the lab request. So that uh, sets it to in progress and moves it to the next, uh, the next stage. So here you can see um, we've got the serum glucose here. We're going to go ahead and put in the lab results, um, and we'll say this is 50. All right. Um, so the uh, the results have been updated, and now the uh, result is here. It's been completed. So uh, once again, if we go back into the chart, you can see here is that uh, that result from today. Um, showing the serum glucose. So uh, yeah, that is a very quick overview. Um, you might have noticed that uh, you, for smaller labs um, or for labs that don't have access to a laboratory information system, this will allow um, lab users to see what tests have been ordered, um, which ones are sort of in progress. Uh, so when they've received the sample, and then, of course, uh, be able to look at uh, completed and filter to see completed uh, by uh, on or after which day. So I hope this was informative. Um, 
yeah, uh, this is a great set of new features, and I'm looking forward to recording another one uh, showing interoperability with the lab information system. I'm hoping to have that uh, available in the next week or so. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone, for your attention. I'd also like to give a, a huge thank you to WEMS, uh, as well as the community members who have participated in the Lab Squad over this uh, just slightly more than a year. Uh, it's There are 65 of you on the uh, Slack channel alone, and you have uh, all really contributed to making this work a huge success. So thanks so much, everyone, and uh, now I'll take any questions.